fungal food production research shared from the disciples of Anu. A new breed of crops has been developed based on a highly modified version of the fungi used in the traditional Anu method of transubstantiating the bodies of the dead in the fields of transubstantiation. Capable of thriving in nearly any conditions, the new fungal crops are capable of producing virus-free nutrition in large quantities. The fungi will also prove useful in improving our own food output. So we could actually grow food. It might also help the disciples of Anu not starve. That would be good. But even if it just means that we can start producing food, then that means I can keep trading it if not infinitely, then at least a lot more aggressively, which will help our other resources and may help other settlements. I don't know if trading the settlement's food helps mitigate the effects of starvation. I feel like it really should, but I don't know if it actually does, but it's useful regardless. Multiple new mutations have been developed, allowing humans to become faster, more agile, and have the power to stun enemies in battle. These new procedures are now available at the Mutation Laboratory. And from New Jericho... Goss technology, which I think is a collection of guns, several of which we already have, but not all of them. And then their aircraft technology. The New Jericho Thunderbird is a third generation quad rotor VTOL transporter designed specifically for the current battlefield in atmospheric conditions. Covered with reinforced external armor and coated with anti-corrosive material, it offers protection from enemy fire and organic attacks alike. Despite its considerable weight, thanks to its four viama two engines the thunderbird is capable of speeds exceeding 320 kilometers per hour at present the thunderbird has a capacity of seven people but the design incorporates potential for improving this disciples of anu are now aligned with the goals and values of the phoenix project all completed disciples of anu's research is now shared with phoenix and can be accessed from the research list Okay, and yeah, A-Team is waiting for an attack on the base in Western Africa. B-Team could use some healing and maybe a short break. Let me put a look at the base info here. Okay, it actually, the medical bay will be done in less than a day and the living quarters is already done. So I think I'm going to have them move here and wait until they at least have their stamina back. Or actually what I might do, since the med bay isn't quite done yet, I may have them take a short detour and go and trade with some of the bases around here. Or maybe go explore some of these spots. Well, at the very least, I'm going to have them trade with these guys and such and then probably explore here because it's on the way and then go rest at the base for a bit trade eh, they don't have any right now traded too recently i guess might be worth checking these guys yep defending the base Got it. Thanks. Okay, A team, you're up. Okay. Where are they coming from? And where are we? Because apparently I can't be arsed to tell everyone where they should be, you know, starting during a defensive mission that we knew was going to be happening. All right, well, they're coming from over there. I don't want to put you guys too close to this because some stuff like the psychic scream could probably go through the wall. This game's flaky enough to allow it. Relocating. Dashing. You're probably not going to be able to shoot properly from up top because heavies almost never are. I get that the weapon is held lower and that they're supposed to be aiming from lower down, but the way that it tries to aim when they're on a any higher elevation is frankly 
it, it would be comical if it wasn't so frustrating. All I need is a clear shot. Nice. I'm going. Going in. There's a siren. Now might honestly be one of the best chances I have to try to capture one since both of the snipers have a paralysis pistol. It's just going to be a matter of getting it close enough that we can use it without something horrific happening. Oh yeah, that was really good with a shotgun. Nice job. If we could take out its head. That would get rid of most of its psychic abilities, and then it would just be a matter of not letting it melee anyone while it came in. Identifying that would probably be best. How does that taste? Zooming in. Okay, you can't see it from where you are. I don't know if you'd be able to see it even from here. So. Target missed. On it. Missed. Looking for an angle. Good news is the siren came in. Bad 
good news is it also was smart enough to take cover, so shooting it with the paralysis pistols is going to be tricky, which means we're going to have to allow it to move again, probably. And Sarana got shot at a few times, but didn't actually get hit and actually managed to return fire, so that's nice. Honestly, that thing is so heavily armored that even at this range, it'd probably be better to use the bulldog instead of the shotgun. Let's see. Come on, keep trying to get its arm. Very nice. Okay, good. That was enough to disable its head. So that gets rid of the psychic abilities. That will help. All success. It. Confirming target. Oh, no, no, don't do there. That's what I want to do. Get of that thing. No, I. Yeah, he doesn't even have a lot of sight on it, so. You, sir, are going to move away a little bit because otherwise you're going to be way too close to that siren. And Serana, you're honestly kind of in the same boat. In fact, I'm going to have you spend a lot of your move moving away. I think maybe I can have you shoot once. Acquiring target. Get him. Wound him a bit more. I'm repositioning. Move away from the frickin' siren. Very nice. disabled your arm of all the injuries that it could do it had to be the arm didn't it great so you're not going to be able to do anything for the rest of this combat so you may as well spend the rest of your turn just getting out of the way Could launch another grenade in that vague direction, but if I put too much bleed damage on the siren, that's going to cause us problems. So I think I'm just going to have you shoot that guy instead. Is a clear shot. Could you please hit? We don't have very many of these shots.
Ready to fire. Okay, we're going to have you move over just a bit, I guess. Acquiring targets. All right, just shooting that big direction. to start having them carry more of the neural pistol ammo, aren't I? Because apparently I, I was kind of basing it on the fact that, you know, my strongest soldiers had 20-something strength, so I figured, you know, some of the enemies maybe would have 30-something. That has almost 50. So apparently my estimates were a little off. I expected the game to be slightly reasonable, and I really shouldn't have done that. In my sights. All right, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to really effectively get him. That thing's down to only one action point right now, so if the snipers need to do something else to help keep this under control, then they're going to do that. There, that helps. One shot at it just to really why how are you not hitting you idiot lazy please please hit thank you That one should bleed to death. So, with that in mind... Yeah, he's gonna bleed out. So, we can have Glacier try for this one. No, Very nice. Let me see. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we can try. All right, you did honestly better than I thought you would, considering. All right. Okay, well. A bit too long of a shot, I guess. You're, you're spin. I, I honestly should have just moved you first, but you're moving back up. Really? Okay. Okay. What I wanted game just. Okay, yeah, it doesn't apply to Overwatch. I couldn't remember if it did or not, but Quick Aim does not apply to Overwatch. Good to know. We'll try to remember that this time. Oh, great. Of course, it's going to hide and make itself a pain to hit. make yourself useful by healing up Glacier so that he doesn't get absolutely wrecked by poison. Thank you. Now, get back over there. Let's blast them. Squeeze. 
Get rid of him. Alright, you disabled its head, so it can't really do anything else from here. Serana. Hop on down. Great. He's shooting. Just deal with it. And bash. Get back there. Confirming target. Let's just get that thing out of the way. Okay, another mind fragger. Gonna have to go and bash it too. That's fine. I really should have shot him first. It's, I don't know why. I cannot for the life of me tell when enemies are going into Overwatch in this game. It's the way the enemy turn runs. I have a much harder time keeping track of exactly what they're doing than I do in XCOM. And that is causing me some problems. Don't know whether to blame that one on me or the game or both. Okay, I'm thinking we might be down to just the siren now. And I'm honestly not sure how many shots of this we have left. It's not something that, yeah, okay, it has four, he has four shots and I know Valeria doesn't have quite that many because she wasted a few of them. But time to start chasing after that thing, I think. Mm, nope, we got, we got one more ghoul over there. Okay. Well, you're already down here, so move over there, I guess. Let's fall. You can... Where, what, what, how, how, oh, the siren. You can see the siren. That's fine. Just get over there. Holding position. Okay, okay, it overwatched, but did you notice how it like it moved and then the camera immediately looked over at the siren and I personally like I, I thought to check if it overwatched but i didn't see it overwatch i have to like you see the enemies move and then you have to go back and check each one because the camera just zips around like it is freaking adhd and caffeine and probably some stronger stuff as well Ugh. it needs to slow down and linger on the enemies just little longer or it needs to make a noise when they go on overwatch although that would be not great for hard of hearing players just but something range just of course it is i just i don't even care now just uh, watch this hit the crate it hit the crate dashing ahead 
course, that stupid thing isn't going to freaking come out. Uh, and if you're wondering which one I mean, I mean both of them. I'm going in. You're not going to be able to see anything, and I honestly don't want you to shoot sirens, so... Just please quit delaying and come out. Of course, you're just going to sit there, and now she's going to be panicking. And apparently, the thing to do when you panic is run right next to the scariest freaking thing on the board. Good lord. I'm, You know, I have my problems with XCOM, but... And even though there are some things about this that I actually do like better, I am seriously starting to appreciate some things that XCOM did, and I don't know why it's not targeting this thing. I'm just glad it's letting me do it manually. <sighs> okay, I don't care what y'all have to do. Run that other one down and shoot it. Running. I officially don't care. I don't think it could do enough damage to kill anybody. I just want it gone. Ideally, before the paralysis on that wears down, because I don't think we have the ability to shoot it anymore. No time to waste. Thank you. <laughs> yep, this works. Just beat it to death. Thank you. Thank you, Glacier. Assuming that I understood everything correctly, we should have a live siren. Now, honestly, I think it would be a good idea on defense missions to at the very least give the people with pistols some more ammo. The neural pistols. So that we could probably get some captures because... The base defense missions are very, very predictable. It's usually pretty easy to get most of the enemies to just funnel into a kill box. And yeah, I didn't handle that the best because I got kind of impatient towards the end of that one. But it still mostly worked. Okay, yep, definitely doing that. Actually, let's get that fireworm autopsy and the cure on autopsy done. Because that actually gives us stuff, as in materials and other resources, which we kind of desperately need at the moment. And the siren the siren vivisection. So yeah, let's get those done, then the mist repeller, and then the Aspida development. And we should probably get fungal food production. And yeah, we should get the shared decks just ready to go. And the 
Pandoran Lair too. Now there's actually some research I want done. That's nice. Okay, B team is on a trading mission at the moment, which is good because we desperately freaking need it. And A team really needs a break because I got sloppy toward the end of that mission because I was getting a bit frustrated. And there's a lair there. Great. Okay, go back to Phoenix Point and rest first. There, that should give us enough resources to hopefully be able to resupply people. Although, of course, now that I didn't have enough to resupply them Initially, I'm going to have to go through here manually and check everybody. Okay, we're going to have you just start carrying an extra thing for the neural pistol because evidently you need to be carrying more if we're going to be using it to get captures. 